Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to rig a mesh of your choice in Mixamo. Bring it back out of Mixamo into Blender and use this plugin, which we'll include in the description below, to add a root bone to your mesh. And then you can bring that into Unreal or Unity or whatever you want to use it, and you can use root motion animations. We'll also be showing you how to uh, rig clothing to the same skeleton and then export that clothing and import it into Unreal to use with your character. Without further ado, let's get started. So I have this character here. It's a little uh, NPC Wojak character. Uh, we're going to be taking this. Let's go into Mixamo now. We're going to upload character, uh, get that character, drag it right into the pop-up window. All right, now uh, this means that it works and here we go. We got our character. Now we need to add the uh, the positions of the character, like its chin, its wrists, elbows and all that. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. All right, here we are and we have these animations. I'm just going to pick what I want to pick. Just a couple random animations to use. Um, and then we're going to download them and you're going to want to pick without skin and I like 60 frame rate and uh, no reduction. So that's what works for me. Now we're uh, back into Blender here. And you wanna go to uh, edit preferences and uh, if you search here, you're not gonna see this. What you wanna do is go up to the install button and then you're gonna wanna pick wherever you downloaded that file, install it and then when you go into search here, you will see the plugin and you will have to check this box right here. And then uh, we'll be good to go. So then you'll see on the right, there's this little arrow. You want to click that and you cl go down to the Mixamo tab. I have other tabs here because it's just uh, extra stuff that uh, I have. But uh, there's a couple options you want to have checked here. You want to have apply rotation unchecked. You're going to want to have uh, transform unchecked. And sometimes I like to mess with the scale just because the scale difference between Blender and uh, Unreal can be uh, quite troublesome. But uh, so once you got those clicked, the settings right, then what you want to do is you're going to click where your input path is of all those animations that you just downloaded. And uh, just make sure that if it is a zip file to unzip it. Uh, and then you want to select your output path and you can hit batch convert and it will add a root bone to every single one of those animations for you. Here we go. I have this shirt here that I uh, have rigged to my character. I, um, I'll show you how to do that in a second here. But uh, whatever piece of clothing you have, you want to select the clothing, then hold down control, select the the uh, skeleton and then hit control P and apply. Uh, then you're gonna wanna hit apply with empty groups. And then you wanna select your uh, shirt. You wanna go to add modifier. You wanna go data transfer. And then down in the bottom there, you see this little droplet. Um, I gotta make sure I'm only clicked on my shirt here. Uh, and then you drop onto the mesh that the shirt is parented to. And you go down here and you will click uh, vertex data checked, drop down arrow, uh, vertex groups, and you will want to click uh, nearest face interpolated. Um, I'm not sure if this is a thing, but I think you want to uh, drag this up above there and then uh, and then click apply. And you see, sometimes uh, you'll get some problems here, so I have to just fix it up in. Uh, in my sculpting. But then uh, once we export, we, there's a specific export options we want to have here. Now I'm selecting my mesh, my uh, my shirt mesh, and my skeleton. That's it, not the actual mesh. And we want to have these options checked here. Want to have a uh, copy selected in a uh, path mode, uh, selected objects only, which is the ones I just said. Uh, you want to have uh, apply units or apply space transform no apply unit uh smoothing is face apply modifiers no uh leaf bones and no animations and now we're gonna import this right here and see has sometimes the scale's messed up i probably shouldn't have messed with the scale but that's the easy fix all we have to do is just we'll delete it again and we'll change the import uniform scale to 100 and now it'll come in exactly how we want it so we're gonna make a blueprint print class uh character 
I'm just gonna name this uh, my NPC character. <laughs> Click that, open it up, and we'll select the skeleton that we just imported. Let's uh, try to get this lined up to the uh, capsule here. All right, we're gonna be going into the construction script to do what we have to do, but let first uh, let me go to my other character here and I'll show you a little example of how it works with him. Yeah, so we have set leader pose component and the mesh is the target and the children will be any pieces of clothing that you have. So select any clothing you want that will be part of your character. So target is the uh, clothing, the leader is the mesh. We'll add a skeletal mesh to the component of the blueprint, and then we will import that shirt that we had paired to the skeleton. Now we're gonna create an animation blueprint. We'll just call this ABP NPC. Uh, open that up, and we have to create a blend space for this. Let's import our animation and select uh, right click, select uh, legacy, blend space 1D and make sure we select our skeleton. Let's open that up and let's select the, you'll see the uh, animation in the bottom right. Now I'm not going to go over how to create a blend space for a character, but uh, we're just going to make a little simple one here with this animation. Let's save that go over here and we'll go over into asset browser and you'll see the blend space here so we'll drag that in connect the nodes compile save let's go back over to our blueprint and uh, yeah we'll go uh, click the uh, the blueprint and we'll have to select our animation blueprint here the ABP NPC and there it is. We have the character. Now let's add our apply root motion. We should be able to apply root motion. Enable root motion. We have force root lock. We'll just stop it in place. See that's working. And enable root, root motion. Will work. It will actually work. Um, so let's go over. We added a, another skeletal mesh here in the components. And now what we're going to do is we're going to find that shirt that we had imported. And there it is right there. And we're having a problem here. Let's compile. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can uh, drag the chest into the mesh to parent it. It's still doing it. All right. Let's drag it in and see if, uh, if it's actually like that. Sometimes it shows different than what it actually is. Let's see if that's actually the case. Let's play. And it is doing it. It is doing it. All right, we'll fix that in a sec. It's probably these here. Let's uh, put these back to default. Yep, that, there it is. Now you can hit pause on this animation and uh, and move it back to where you want, but just for these purposes, we'll show. And the shirt is moving with the character. And that's about it. Yep, there we go. That's how you uh, can rig clothing to your character, uh, have root motion, all that type of stuff.